Hello everyone. Welcome to the Engineering Training Channel. In this video, I will show you how to model slurry flow with ComSol Multiphysics. To start, we click on Model Wizard and select 2D Axisymmetric because we have a pipeline. We select Laminar Mixture Model from Fluid Flow Multiphase Flow and Mixture Model. First, we want to check the volume fraction over time, so we select Time Dependent Study. The height of the pipeline is 10 mm, and the radius is 1 mm. We select water in the material section because it is the continuous phase. For the solid phase, we only need to define the density and diameter of the particles. Now we define the boundary conditions. The inlet velocity is 0.12 meters per second, and the solid volume fraction at the inlet is 0.15. The relative atmospheric pressure is considered for the outlet. Now generate the mesh. The time step is 0.001, and the stop time is 0.1 to capture all variations in volume fraction. Now run the model. The run is complete. We check the variation in volume fraction as animations. Additionally, we can check the results from a 3D pipe. Next, we want to check the pressure drop in the pipeline. It is better to check the pressure at steady state, so we add a stationary study and run the steady state simulation. Now, we check the pressure drop according to the line average. It 
It is better to check the pressure drop as a variable. So we define it as a variable. We select line average at the inlet and outlet to calculate the pressure drop. Now, run the model and check the pressure drop in global evaluation. <music> Lastly, we want to check the pressure drop as a function of the density of the solid. It is better to first define the solid density as a parameter and then use a parametric study to check the effect of density on the pressure drop. According to the results, the pressure drop and density correlation is linear. Thank you for watching this video.